Thomas, thank you so much for having us here to your beautiful restaurant and bar um, here in Bearwood. Um, so it's the Taste of Portugal and very much a little piece of Portugal right here in the middle of Bearwood. Um, Vaz, um, you're from Porto, right? Yes. Yeah. First of all, uh, it's really nice to have you here. Thanks for coming and to help us to advertise our place as well. So oh, you're welcome. We're loving welcome it. welcome to come here. Um, yes, I'm uh, originally from Porto, born and raised, um, beautiful city and um, came here around 10, ten years ago uh -huh. and Porto is so great, Portugal is so great. And you're not the only one who thinks so, right? You've just won the, the greatest city in the world? Exactly, right? exactly. It's around two weeks ago. Porto won several prizes mm -hmm. over the last few years, um, before Covid we won six years in a row the best destination in Europe. Most recently, two weeks ago, Porto won the best destination in Europe again, but this time, best city destination in the world. Wow, so it's not just biased, so, it genuinely is the exactly. best Exactly. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's not just because I'm from there, yeah, I'm born yeah. there. It's, it really is a beautiful city, lots of culture, lots of uh, gastronomy, the food yeah. is amazing, the place is amazing. And, and that's what you're bringing here. Yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. And then Carla, you're from Cape Verde. Cape Verde. So when did you move to Porto? How did you guys meet? It was like 16 years when we moved to Portugal. Yeah. But Cape Verde, it's amazing. Yeah, and you bring a bit of Cape Verde flavour. Yeah, I'm trying to bring too. a little bit more from, from Cape Verde. But most of our dishes from Porto. Okay, wonderful. I mean, how? So, when you um, talk about the flavours of Portugal, why is it so important to you guys to to bring it to the people of Bearwood, to the people of Birmingham? What is it about Portuguese food that that you think people love? Yeah. For me, well, <laughs> we eat <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Portuguese food every day. Yeah. So we're trying to do our business. And then we are thinking, what is the best thing to do? So I'm just cooking. <laughs> yeah, and definitely because Portugal has so many different foods. Different food. mm. The gastronomy, you know, we have hundreds of traditional dishes. Yeah. And it's so good that we thought, you know, why not bring a little bit of our culture here? Yeah. Why not bring these amazing flavors that we know it's so good and it's something that is missing in Birmingham. I, and we, even for our community. Exactly. We we came ten years ago, yeah, and there was nothing here, nothing, nothing in at all. Birmingham. No. Wow. I was uh, ever I kept listening about oh, Nando's is not really <laughs> not Portuguese. Not Portuguese. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was something that was always in the back of our minds. When we have a chance, we'll definitely do something to bring a little bit of our culture, our flavors different things to Birmingham yeah. and Bearwood was the best yeah. choice. Yeah, when yeah. you smashed it. Because it started when Tamo was closing yeah. and one day he went home and said, I saw a place, let's go. <gasps> yeah, because that place is like, and it's, it's there. perfect. Yeah, we saw inside and said, this is one. Yeah, so you chose yeah. that yeah. and you started in that beautiful small, small, small location. Yeah. You've got your grocery right next door. And just, I mean, why is that important to you as well? Because you've got the grocery where you've got all of your delicious cakes and pastries and, and food that people will use in their own kitchens every day. Why did you want to do that as well as the restaurant? No, we had the restaurant first. Ah, okay. Yeah, and then we opened the grocery. Six, there was yeah. just a need for it. Because of the COVID, all, all the time we were closing and we opened again. Mm. And we said, let's all try do the grocery so we can manage. Yeah. And then, and, and also, it, it, was, it was, something, was something that was missing as well. Yeah. was missing in the community and was missing to a shop proper traditional Portuguese focused nice. uh, not uh, the, with two yes. or three different countries the products that you can find in Portugal the same products you can have it here like for example the chorizos yeah. from there right. here we can get a lot of Spanish chorizos but it's very different from yeah. the Portuguese it's for totally example different flavor, exactly. isn't it? it's more smoky yeah what the Spanish yeah. one is a bit spicy the Portuguese sour, smoky a bit sour. Mm. it's really it's completely different yeah, yeah. all the cakes all the you know the the, the food the uh, seafood as well uh, bread wines uh, cookies yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's all everything beans Portuguese rice food. even the sugar yeah so yeah. you've got that authenticity and that's key to your success i think isn't it i mean you're so successful that you had to go from the smaller restaurant and open this yeah. uh, this bigger place so you're obviously doing something right and it's <laughs> do you think it's, it's fair to say it's the food right yeah. carla and this is all on you i mean how important is the flavor 
in uh, what you do here? How important is that flavor of Portuguese food? It's the most important. That's why I'm being here every day. Yeah. <laughs> Not resting, we need to be there. Yeah. Because it's otherwise it's going to be different. Definitely. So, I mean, that passion that you have and that love that you have for Portuguese food and food from Cape Verde as well. Yeah, it's almost similar the food so what we eat in Cape Verde we eat in Portugal okay. and yeah and from the rest of the um, community from Angola Brazil we have a little bit of Portugal so it's easier for us to do yeah. more Portuguese dishes well it's just amazing so is it fair to say then Carla your your food is the heart of us yeah definitely yeah, definitely. Heart of yeah. Fair wood. <laughs> <laughs> you know definitely you know um, and I, I think everyone knows you know we, we've been so successful um, okay we have a nice place uh, you can be really nice to people you can treat people right but it's the most important thing is the food yeah when it comes to your table it needs to taste right it needs to have the right flavors and Carla here she's a top chef I'm very lucky it's no yeah. that, that's why this belly is like this as well <laughs> you know it's a labor love. So exactly. it. <laughs> um, but you know yeah all the flavors are there it's very, I think it's really important as well that we use um, everything Portuguese as well yeah so because that makes a huge huge difference um, we know we don't cook Portuguese food with ingredients bought here no all our ingredients apart from just a couple from our menu are proper Portuguese so they're all um, Portuguese dishes exactly and then but you get your vegetables locally is that right yes. vegetables and the meat vegetables you know? um, the meat as because well the beef and the chicken we because we want to include uh, alal as well okay so okay. beef and the chicken uh, we, it's locally supplied locally Perfect. and the potatoes as well uh, all the rest it we, we have the grocery and we always ask for more suppliers, and that's why as well, it, you, you, it, it's different. The, even something simple like uh, ketchup or you know bread. Yeah. When you eat, you the butter. You oh. when you when you eat, you see. Oh, <laughs> you know it's different from but, uh, what you tried before. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's that authenticity. All the, so important. Well, do you know what? All this talk about your delicious food, it's making me hungry. Um, I can't wait to try what you've put together for us today. And you've chosen some of your favourites, some of your customers' favourites. Yes. yes. Shall we get stuck in? <laughs> Definitely, yes. Is this all marinated and everything by, yes. by Carla? So everything's. Yes, perfect. Portuguese olive oil, mm -hmm. garlic, Portuguese bread, pan mafra, and the olives as well. Oh, do you know what? It's really I'm good. Yeah, it. that's <laughs> it. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's so tasty. It's good. delicious. And this is the Portuguese chorizo. chorizo. Yeah? Mm. Yes. Chorizo. 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 Yes. Chorizo. chorizo. Chorizo, it's in Spanish. They okay. say chorizo. They say chorizo. Yeah. Okay. Port Portugal, Portuguese, chorizo. Chorizo. That's it. Chorizo. Really good. And it is, I mean, it's such different flavour to the Spanish chorizo, isn't it? And, it, and it, I love both, but it's, I've never had anything like it before. It's gorgeous. What have you got here, Carla? <laughs> Fire. Fire. <laughs> Amazing. Yes. <laughs> so normally we do this um, in the kitchen. Okay. Sometimes we do it at the table. This is a special occasion. We want to show you how it's done in Portugal. In sure. Portugal, everywhere you go, it's how they do it. It's okay. like this. Um, here, when we have a full house, we don't do as much just for safety reasons. Sure. But because just as here, we want to show you how it's done and yeah. how it's done in, on the backstage as well. Fantastic. Just before it comes to you. I'm excited. Cool. Yeah. Cool. So, what's this? This is ethanol, right? Yes, ethanol. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool. Do we need to stand back? <laughs> no, no, just a bit of flames. It's so calm. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's it. Ah, nice. That's awesome. So, so what does this do for the flavour of the yes. chorizo? What is it? Chorizo. 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 Yeah. Huh. <laughs> yeah, so literally now, it's just we, we turn it, don't let it burn too much. Yeah. 
and it will release all the flavors as well um, from the chorizo. Yeah. And it's basically this. Then we have with some uh, nice bread as well. Nice. So yeah. this would be kind of like a starter for your meal. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. yeah. So all these to... two are starters, for example. Beautiful. Yeah. I'm yeah. have some more of these olives. They're so yeah. tasty. What do you have for marinade, or is it top secret? Secret. <laughs> mm -hmm. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> mm. And they're so sweet. So are these olives typical of them? Because what, do they have a special name, the little black ones? Or? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's azeitona galega. Okay. Um, it's basically different different types of olives. Mm. Not only one, not only green olives, but you have green, you have black, you have uh, wine olives. Yeah. All together, it's really good. Nice. They're so tasty. And then what's in this one here? This is the olive oil. Yeah. Olive oil. Olive oil yeah. And garlic. Oh, and garlic as well. Oh, nice. Chuck in as well. Yeah. Otherwise, I'll just put no, no, it <laughs> So good. And the olive oils from Portugal. Is the garlic from, um, from Portugal too? No, garlic here. Garlic from here. Yeah. Nice. Mm. These simple things that it's no difference. Okay, you can use it from here, but mm. you know, most of the things like the bread, for example, mm. it's really, really nice. It's really tasty. Yeah. And the olive oil, there's no bitterness at all. It's a really no. like sweet, mellow yeah, flavor. Exactly. Mm. You know, acidity, 0.2. Oh, wow. So basically, even if you dress, you use dressing on in the salad, mm. even if you put loads, next day, same day, no art burning as well. Yeah. Nothing, nothing. Really good. It's really tasty. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm. Mm. What do you think people have when they come here? How do you want them to feel? How do you want them to sort of feel in the environment? And when they taste your food, what do you want them to experience? Yes, like I've been in all of this. Ah, yeah. Nice. Mm. yeah, I like that. That's what we all need. Without spending money. <laughs> <laughs> That's it, which is amazing value. Yeah. It's really good value um, that you bring, really, with all the beautiful food and the flavours and the variety that you bring as well. It's incredible. Look at that. Mm. Understand? That smells beautiful as well. I wish we had smell smell vision. Really well. <laughs> <laughs> so you can sort of get a sense of it because it's just absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, and it's like Carla was saying here, we want people to, when they come here, Yeah. because um, we know, you know, most of British people have been to Portugal, either visiting or working on holidays especially. Mm. And what we want to, to give people to experience, it's a little bit of what they had in Portugal, hopefully, or if not, and we had several, several cases that people come here and said, oh, wow, I didn't have this in Portugal. Oh, That's why it's so important nice. yeah. to choose where you go and where where you eat, because a lot of places are very touristic. It's not like you've been in Portugal. Okay. You're there, but you're not you're not there, if you know what I mean. Yeah, of course. And but they're catering for kind of um, holiday makers rather than... Exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, we, with this year, we, tr we try to give people what they will go to Portugal to look. Uh, for and all the flavors and everything. That's why we do so traditional. Yeah. Oh, it's so all for you guys. Yeah. Yes. Oh, Let's give a try to the chorizo. And bring the plates. Yeah. Yes. Okay, amazing. No problem. <laughs> so do you have a special way of carving it or do you just tuck in? in yep, it just in. so Carla's gonna bring the, the little tray. Mm -hmm. Um and you you basically just just tuck in nice. uh, with some bread as well. Oh thank you so much. This is gorgeous. I love all the dishes as well. So these are all from Portugal. Everything you see here, yeah. everything around. And then you've got the beautiful things from Cape Verde up there as well, Carla. Gorgeous. My mouth full of things. That's beautiful. It's a totally different colour as well to um to Spanish. Yeah. Surely. Because we have different ones. But this one is best. Yeah. So what kind of ingredients are in here then? Do you still use paprika or is it different? Paprika, yeah, it's smoked. It's like smoked. they in Portugal they put it a lot like in in barns and leave okay. it there for days, days, days and days. Uh, That's why the, the taste is so characteristic, it's so uh, different. Yeah. Um, and yeah, most of it's all homemade as well. Nice. So it's really good. So you make you make this um, No, chorizo? not this, no, but no, most no, of the chorizo. Uh, s selling in Portugal, it, most of it is all homemade. Yeah. And you do yeah. this yeah. for your grocery, don't you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's easier for us. 
definitely. It's such a beautiful colour. It's just really like earthy and juicy. It looks it's really, really nice. Oh, yep. Gorgeous. Thank you. Yum. <laughs> Thanks so much. Alright, go for it. You're gonna have some too. Yeah. Oh. yeah. We might we might feed these guys as well, right? <laughs> if you're lucky. Okay. <laughs> <If you're lucky. laughs> That's quick. Oh, it just smells so good. The bread. Mm. Mm. Everything. It, all of it just smells so good. Mm. Okay. I'm going in. <laughs> really good. Mm. Mm. It's so. What's the word? It's just so rich. Mm. And it's gorgeous. And you don't taste the alcohol at all that you've used. It's all burnt away. Nothing. You just get that lovely sort of caramelised flavour. And it's nice and moist. It's not dry. Mm. It's not dry. It's so it's good. It's, it's good. so tasty. Wow. That's delicious. I'm having a little bit lollip with the <laughs> So would this be the kind of classic? If you go to... Mm, I'm so rude. I keep speaking with my mouth open. <laughs> my mouth open. <laughs> Um, if you were going to someone's house or if you were having friends over, is this kind of a typical, typical starting point for the meal? Mm. Definitely, it's nice and easy, quick as you could see. Mm. Two or three minutes is done. Uh, if you have nice bread, it's something that even in the afternoon or if you're watching telly, watching a movie and you want, you just Want a quick oh, bite? Miss something. This is perfect. Red wine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now we're talking. Well, in fact, wine. we're talking about wine. You know, would yeah. you serve different drinks with different parts of the meal? So, what would you typically have with this? With this, I think beer. Okay. Yeah, beer. beer. Although, depend for me. Yes, red but, wine. but okay. <laughs> but the most yeah. like Plastic traditionally, wine. yeah, beer mm. with this yeah. would be the one that the, and, yeah. that goes the most. And in your bar, you've got obviously Portuguese wine. Portuguese wine. You have Portuguese beer. beer as well. Yes. Right. What's your favorite Everything. Portuguese beer? Um, uh, Superbock. Superbock. Mm. It's the one that it's sells the most. So. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> as well, not only that, but yeah, Superbock. We have here yeah, Superbock. Yeah. We have Sagres as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have uh, different types of white wine, red wine, green wine. and green wine, mm -hmm. which is Vinho Verde. Yeah, talk to us about the Vinho Verde, because that's just suddenly exploded as well. Everybody drinks Vinho yes. Verde. Yes, and we've been noticing as well here, mm. um, a lot of people coming and asking for Vinho Verde. Mm. Um, so Vinho Verde is basically a, a white wine, Yeah. but a bit, little bit sparkling. Okay. So it's... A, it's not like Prosecco because Prosecco is a, a lot, has a lot of dry, mm. very bubbly. Um, Vinho Verde is just a tiny bit, yeah, uh, nice dry, but not too dry as well. Dry, refreshing. Yeah, so it's really, really good. It's perfect. Yeah, it's perfect. We have a lot of people that are coming here and asking straight away for the Vinho Verde. How about yes? Yes, <laughs> exactly. Nice, it's gorgeous. So, people do come here and just drink too, don't they? Yeah, yeah. The end of the. Evening. The end of the evening. So yeah. Come and have a drink. But would you always encourage to have food as well? As well. Yes. Yeah, sure. So they can have the whole experience. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, taste of, because a lot of people never tried Portuguese food. Yeah. And yeah. so they always talk about the same thing, which is as I mentioned before, Nando's. But they well, never as yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's not first of all it's not Portuguese mm. and then it's not too tradition you know, it's not traditional from Portugal. Yeah. Here you have so many dishes, different dishes. Okay. And so people can taste, and I think you know the, that's the variety and the difference that you know. I think it's it, that we bring. Yes, it's exactly. gorgeous. Well, we're going to all of this. Yeah, that's come it. try the food and then come try. You know what I'm going to have taste. in Portugal. <laughs> I love it. I love it. So we've had the starter, and then where do we go on from there? The best part. Oh yes, can't wait. <laughs> My goodness, right, what a feast you've prepared. This is incredible. Um, where, where do we begin, Carla? What would you like us to start with? Oh, the cod. Uh, the cod. So this yes. is 
Portuguese bacalao. Okay, I'll tell you what have you done with it here? This looks incredible. It's uh, grilled skin potatoes. Uh huh. It's bacalhau. Uh, with uh, on I top. Bacalhau. 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 Yeah. <laughs> Gotta get my pronunciation and right. And cornbread on top. Mm. Covered with cornbread. Um, mm. With Portuguese olive oil and garlic. Oh my goodness. Cabbage salads and cornbread. That's just amazing. It's so, how can one little bite just taste of so many different beautiful things? <laughs> mm. Mm. And then that's crunchy and sweet. With a little bit of pepper. Mm. Yeah, it's very important to be all nice and fresh. Yeah. All the, the vegetables we buy every day, we prepare it every day. Um, How many hours do you spend in the kitchen preparing all this beautiful food? <laughs> all morning. Mm. Mm. Sometimes do to do, do again the prepping. Mm. How can it be right? That potato. <laughs> that tastes incredible. Yeah, it's good. Now it's a torture for me just watching, yeah. so I'm going to try as well. Yeah. Try one. And you get to eat this food all the time. Although, yes, yes, mm. that's why, you know, sometimes... You are I the luckiest man on the planet. <laughs> yes, yes, in many ways. But, uh, yes, it's just, you know, oh the food, gosh. it's amazing. That's beautiful. So, so what's the trick with bacalhau? Like, what, I mean, how do they, how do you do it in Portugal? Is it... I think the main thing, it needs to be quality. Yeah. Mm. The bacalhau, you need to buy good bacalhau, good cod. Okay. This, for example, is cod loin. Okay. And you have different types of bacalhau as well. Right. So you have like, uh, I would say, uh, grades from the, mm. the lowest quality to the top quality. Okay. And the ones that we use and the ones that we sell in our shop as well, is the ones at the very top. Okay. So it's it's good. The quality is one of the you most important things. I mean, it's so tasty, it's so yeah. tender. So yeah. when you, for example, when you cut it, yeah, yeah right yeah, in yeah. the middle, like this, yeah, you can see the color. Yeah. Nice and white, and you can see chunks. It's beautiful. Yeah. So it stays in get, yeah. Exactly. Instead of being all shredded, okay. it's nice and chunky like this. It's just see? incredible. And then what's this? Is this is your cornbread? Oh, cornbread that yes, we do, do as well. This as well. No. This is is this from, from Portugal? Yeah, from Portugal. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so lots of these things, people can come if they're not coming to have a whole meal. They can come and get individual things to take home as well. Exactly, yeah. and that was one of the reasons mm. that we opened um, the grocery shop as well. Mm. It's, you can come here because before we had a small cafe mm -hmm. and people used to go there, used to love it and they would like, oh, where do you, have this, where do you get these chorizos from? Where do you get this bread from? Mm -hmm. So we decided, okay, you know what? Let's open a grocery yeah, shop. Yeah, perfect. And oh, it's just so good. People come to the restaurant and then they go to the grocery. Can I dip a bit of the cornbread in here? Is this allowed? Am I going off piste? Is it right? Not a problem. Because <laughs> this sauce, this is your famous beer sauce, right? And I know you're not going to tell us exactly what's in here. Because no. <laughs> it's top, 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 top. Just top doing it in the morning. No one can see it. <laughs> mm. It's the How sauce. How many ingredients are in this sauce? That is delicious. Over 20. Oh, yeah. Over 20 ingredients. Yeah, definitely. Mm. Oh my gosh. And it takes a few hours to be made. Yeah, a few hours. Morning. It's just to get us to make a few hours. Yes, yes, you can. So you basically... I've never you, been so polite actually. Yeah. No, I'm just... Uh, <laughs> just cut in the middle to see inside either. Cut okay. the I'm going to cut here. Okay. To open it so you can see how it's tucked inside. So. Oh. Yeah, so... Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is like yeah. the most dream-like sandwich I've ever seen in my life. Exactly. <laughs> So and now, get yeah, everything you can, in each mouthful. Exactly. So you we'll cut it. We'll come back to you. We'll yeah. back to you. <laughs> so you cut it as a whole piece yeah. from top to, top to the bottom, and you have it all together. Oh my goodness! So you dip in the sauce. Yeah. This is heaven. Yeah, so like we've got this. a bit of steak. Yeah, steak, cheese, ham, mm. chorizo, linguiça, cheese mm. with the sauce, cheese on top again, fried egg. And goes all together with some nice homemade fries as well. <laughs> that is just absolutely sensational. I want that for breakfast, for lunch, <laughs> for... <laughs> That's so tasty. This is just gorgeous. Oh my word. And it's such comforting food as well when you just want to feel good. And yeah. you know when, it, and it, when it's cold? Yeah. Rainy days, very cold. Deep in the mm. sauce. 
This is the perfect mm. dish. Mm. Like this. Mm -hmm. mm. I think this is the perfect dish for any day. <laughs> it is. For every day. It's really good. Mm. And it's one of the best sellers here in the restaurants as well. Mm. Uh, this yeah. is called, by the way, Francesinha. 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 It's a traditional dish from our city, from Porto. From Porto. It's where it's most famous in Portugal, okay. Francesinha. Wow. It's very good. And I mean, just in terms of Birmingham, a city, right? Obviously, you've got Nando's. We talked about Nando's. It has its place, I suppose, but it's not Portuguese food, right? How many Portuguese restaurants are there in Birmingham? One for me. Yeah. Two. Which Two. Is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have us here in yeah. Airwood. Yeah, yeah. And the other one that we know, it's in Acorns Green, Porto okay. Douro. Yeah. That's a Portuguese restaurant as well. Okay. Actually, the gentleman uh, we know him is uh, called from Fernando. Mm -hmm. He's from Porto as well. So, okay. both traditional Portuguese, mm. just as two. Mm. Then you have Brazil Porto, here in Bellwood as well. Yeah, yeah. But that's more Brazilian, it's not sure. Portuguese. Sure, sure. So, uh, the food, tr proper traditional food, the only two. Oh, it, I mean, it's just so good. And your stones throw from the city centre. You're right here in the heart of Bellwood. Yeah, and to be local beef yeah. there. <laughs> and, well, I mean, that's a good, so you came here 10 years ago. What made you choose Bellwood to set to set vase up. Why Bearwood? We used to we used to come to is Anatolia. Anatolia. Oh, to have okay. breakfast. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah nice. Mm. <laughs> For many years. Yeah, Turkish. Turkish, Turkish breakfast. Uh -huh. Um we used to go, go there and we always like Bearwood. It's the, the, the five minutes driving Yeah. Yeah. And we live um, uh, close as well, so we local. So it's perfect. Uh, but Bearwood is really nice. We always like Bearwood because it's nice and quiet nice people and especially what since we open we have our business yeah we get to know more the people of bearwood and the yeah. community and, and what are the people really of bearwood like you know what really you supportive yeah. you know f very friendly mm. supportive only comforting you uh, we 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 get that a lot especially in these difficult times yeah they always have a kind word to tell you okay. and that's very important that's so nice they yeah. always say you know keep doing your great job Keep the, you know, we, we will support you. It's really nice to see your shop. It's really nice to see the restaurant. Yeah. So it's really good for us, taking in consideration all the hard work that we're making. Mm. Um, it's really comforting and good that mm. we get that feedback from the, the community That's as well. And we have customers who come almost every day. <laughs> yeah. It's gorgeous. That is good. It's so beautiful now. I mean, we, we need to get stuck get into this, this as yes. well. This looks absolutely sensational. Oh, oh this yeah, sangria. sangria as well. Yeah, it's never yeah. too early for sangria. Yeah. Am I, I allowed to double park there because I've got my vino verde? Yes, the vino verde as well. <laughs> so let me serve you here. Thank you. I know sangria mm. is very known in Spain and people know it more from Spain, but mm -hmm. in Portugal we have a sangria a lot as well. Okay. So that's why we, that's why we serve it here. It's beautiful. And that one is tap one. So and you've yeah. got the sangria on tap, you've yeah. got vino verde on tap. And, and, and bottle got, as well. Okay, I mean it's just beautiful. I mean you've got yeah, your red wine here red too, wine. this is Portuguese. Right? Yeah. Yes, from yes. Beautiful. Every. Oh, everything. <laughs> and I'll put just a little bit of sangria for you as well to try. I'm going to get this little prawn on here as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and the sauce. And the sauce, this is it. Oh my gosh. Juicy, juicy. <laughs> beautiful. I've worn the wrong kind of top. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Today. That's beautiful. And what else have you put? You've put cinnamon in there. Cinnamon, cinnamon. meat, mm. apple, orange. orange. Mm. Thank you, thank you. There you go. <laughs> thank you. Wow. And a little bit of... And a little bit of port as well. Gorgeous. Yeah. A bit of port too, so yeah. you put a bit of extra in. Yeah, just to mm. give you that... Mm, nice. nice. Love all the dishes. Yes. Cheers. Cheers. How do you say cheers in Portuguese? Uh, chin chin. <laughs> chin chin. <laughs> chin chin. Chin chin. <laughs> chin chin. <laughs> mm. That's beautiful. It's so refreshing and fruity. It is. It's gorgeous. Right, where do we start okay. with, with this? How do you... So here, mm -hmm. we start from the bottom, yeah? Okay. So right point. Here, we go to the dish. So, you have octopus. Oh, wow. peppers, yeah. uh, prawns, mm -hmm. uh, cuttlefish, we call it in Portugal. Uh, in I gotta start to. Uh, in Portugal, uh, cuttlefish. Shops. 
Shoku. Shoku. Yeah. Shoku. Shoku. It's cuttlefish. And then we have the chorizo as well. It goes all out. So it goes on the grill. Uh -huh. Then it's marinated with olive oil, garlic, garlic, and a bit of lemon as well. So I'll get it from here first. So that's the octopus. Yes, the octopus. I'll put it here for you to oh, try. Thank you so much. My goodness. Yes. Okay. Yes. help. Um, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna well. start yeah, going. Yeah, <laughs> it's so like, okay. That is amazing. Yes. Octopus. And it can mm. take the chorizo as well. Mm. Right. What is the secret? Well, I know you're not gonna give all, all your secrets, <laughs> but because this octopus is so tender, it's not chewy. Yeah. It's not gristly. It's just perfect. So what's the trick with that? It's from Portugal. <laughs> It's different. <laughs> it's different. <laughs> it's yeah. it's the way the way that it's cooked, cooked. as well. Mm. Yeah. Um, the the time that is boiled, um, then the, it's stretched, so it's nice and, and it's nice and tender. It's not gonna be hard. Okay. And then uh, Carla has one very important trick that she's not gonna reveal, but <laughs> that makes the octopus taste always like this. It's, it's right on the. It's not hard. Not too soft, it's there, perfect, mm -hmm. and it's uh, uh, something that it's used. Um, that I actually, was my mom told her what to do because oh. my mom is a chef as well, she's a okay. chef for 30 years. Oh, my goodness! And that that bit is very, very good. You must have yeah. the most amazing family get togethers. <laughs> your mom's a chef, you're a chef, everyone just to be honest, everyone so cooks well, well. Yeah. Yeah. everyone cooks well. Mm, in that the family. Fish is incredible. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. And the beautiful thing is, it seems, well, it seems simple, it's, it's just, it's all about the food, it's all about the ingredients, right? It's, it's just gorgeous, but then all your twists and secrets and <laughs> things behind the scenes just bring it all to life, it's beautiful, oh, just amazing, <laughs> it's just truly gorgeous, thank you so much. No problem. Keep on eating. <laughs> Yeah, and we have, you know, a lot more uh, options as well on the menu. Yeah. Um, meat, but we didn't do any, but we have vegetarian options as well. Okay. Uh, we have food uh, suitable for vegans as well. Oh, amazing. Uh, so we have... And gluten-free options. Gluten-free gluten options as well. Uh, we do fish, sardines, which is very good. A lot of people like sardines. Yeah. Grilled sardines, yeah. Uh, we Great do part. grilled sardines. Um, the Portuguese chicken as well. Mm. Uh, you know, on the grill with nice sauce. Really Not good. Nando's. Nando's. Yeah, no. And you've got your beautiful peri peri sauce. Exactly. In the yeah. grocery Yes, okay. yes. It's and, you know, um, the fries that you see, it's all hand peeled. It's, it's fried. It's not mm. what it's homemade. It's really good. So. It's yes. amazing. Everyone needs to come here. <laughs> it's as simple as that. So Carla, you're from Cape Verde really? originally, yeah. and this is what you have for a Cape Verde breakfast. breakfast. Yeah. So tell us about it, what is it? It's made by cornbread. Uh -huh. um, some people like sweets, yeah. some don't. Igor prefer with cinnamon and sugar. That's why this one is Okay, cinnamon. so this is the cinnamon and sugar. Yeah. yeah, but sometimes we can do half. Mm. One. Mm. It's good with latte. That's gorgeous. Mm. I've never had anything like it. Before. And it's gluten free. And it's gluten free as well. Yeah. So, do you have this on the menu? Not anymore because I'm not doing breakfast anymore. But if okay. someone wants to try, I can do it. I'll tell you what, I could see this working as an afternoon tea. I'm yes. thinking yes. about weekends, maybe Sunday yeah. morning. Sunday brunch. Yeah. Bit of, a, bit of a breakfast treat. This is delicious. So, what would you serve it with on top? Just You've put loads of gorgeous butter on this. Butter? Mm hmm. You can put honey, mm. because in Cape Verde we put sugarcane honey on top, mm -hmm. with milk, mm -hmm. or with latte, coffee, it depends. Well, it can be for breakfast, for now. <laughs> can be forever, it's just beautiful. 
Very good. But it's so tasty. And it's, it's nice good with lighting. With yeah, lighting. Okay. It's amazing. It's gorgeous. And what else? Have, now, Carla, you have made all of these individual puddings. Yeah. So, I mean, you're a genius, first of all. But tell us about each one. You taste everything. Oh, yeah. <laughs> every week. You've got the best job in every the world. Every week. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Taste yes. everything. It's the dream. And, <laughs> and you know, to talk about these because. I always talk about these this one. very passionate. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what's the, okay. the sweets and the specialist so you're, the, you're the specialist taster and you're yeah. the specialist maker. Yes. Okay, what's So this one? that's mango mousse. Yes. So okay. you have your spoon over there. Okay. And it can yeah, just go a bit further down. Yeah. And I'm oh, that's a kind of me. No, you're not allowed any, so uh, see? <laughs> nice. And if you try it, you will feel and see how mm -hmm. creamy it is. Oh my! <laughs> oh my goodness! It's that's like it's amazing. That's incredible. <laughs> I see, and actually, a little bit of this, and a little bit yeah. of this, and it together. It's amazing. Mm. This is the mango mousse. Wow! It's one of my favorites. Desserts. That is really good. It's one of my favorites. Mine is the cookie ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have mango mousse. Yeah. We have. Serradura, we call it in Portugal serradura. 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 That's yeah. it, yeah. Ah, yeah. Serradura, which is translated to English Portuguese sawdust. Okay. Oh. So it's basically. Sounds much nicer in Portuguese. Yeah, serradura. <laughs> um, so we, we call it in English it's sawdust because it has, you have that like yeah, wood yeah. at the top. Okay. So it's Maria biscuit. It's one of um, mm. Maria <laughs> biscuit with double cream, condensed milk. And basically that's it. Oh, you see, that's so good. See, and actually, good. I'm with you, Carla. I love this as well. Mm. This one. But this one, I don't know. Do a little taste? Do a little taste? Mm. Alex, look at you. Look at you. It's just like, mmm. Yeah. Um, oh my gosh. This one, is that, it's, it's more sweeter. Even sweeter. Yeah, that's oh. what I, I prefer sweeter. Okay. Well, and that is really, really yeah, good. Yeah, it's good. Well. <laughs> and what are these two? So, this is Granny's dessert in Portugal we call it Dos Davo. Dos so, Davo. So, Dos Davo. Oh. That's, so, that's it. Okay. So it's Granny's dessert. <laughs> okay. um, so egg cream at the top, some nuts, and double cream underneath as well. You're so good. Yeah. <laughs> You're so clever. <laughs> 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 I don't even have any words. It's just, it's just so tasty. And what's this? And one? these are all, all traditional. This is caramel mousse. Caramel. Don't say it in yeah. English. Is that like salted? <laughs> um, <laughs> no, no, no. It's actually sweet. If we would translate it word to word to English, yeah. it's a uh, camel drool. drool. Camel drool. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So camel drool. <laughs> In Portugal, we call it Baba de Camelo. <laughs> Baba de Camelo. I can't wait to get stuck into my camel drool. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Camel drool mm -hmm. is surprisingly good. <laughs> yes. That is really delicious. What it makes is. it all bubbly like that? That's so good because it's got it's so light. Just egg. Okay, egg whites. Mm. That is. That's oh, good. This is just amazing. With the cook condensed milk. <sighs> We're gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> this is beautiful, guys. Thank you so much. It's just awesome. You have to try it.